Greetings to all my YouTube viewers. Welcome to the channel Physics for us. Physics is admirable. This video is going to be on Chandrayaan 3. Since July 14th is the launching date for Chandrayaan 3, which is a satellite that ISRO is sending to the moon surface. Already we have sent Chandrayaan 1, Chandrayaan 2. Now this is going to be done in the year July 14th, 2023. And the entire India is going to eagerly watch on this great phenomena. It is the launching time is going to be in Indian time 2.30 p.m. on 14 July 2023. What is the speciality about this Chandrayaan 3? So let me give you a brief details on Chandrayaan 1 and Chandrayaan 2. Chandrayaan 1, 2, 3, all these three satellites were planned to travel to the moon and study on the topographical surface of the lunar the moon surface and to study about the or I can say you can study on the different parameters in the moon and to unravel the various mysteries in space. For these characteristics we have sent these satellites. Chandrayaan 1 was sent in the year 2008 October but then in our 25 minutes itself we could feel that this satellite did not go successfully get itself in the correct trajectory path and there were some technical defects in Chandrayaan 1 as well after a year we lost complete communication with Chandrayaan 1 though it was sending some pictures on the moon surface and everything after a year we lost the communication completely around say after a year namely in 2009 around September itself we lost total contacts with Chandrayaan 1 this uh, Chandrayaan 1 had a launch mass of 1380 kilogram. Next level is the Chandrayaan 2 uh, satellite. This was taken by the rocket called GSLV um, GSLV M Mark 3. Uh, this uh, th the, the launch mass was supposed to be 3850 kilogram and it was planned to have higher weight, higher mass for its soft landing. ISRO had planned for a soft landing of this satellite on the moon surface. Chandrayaan 2 and Chandrayaan 3, if you see, there are three components in this satellite. One is the orbiter, the lander and the rover. Lander is named as Vikram after the great Vikram Sarabhai. Rover is named as Pragyan, means wisdom. Uh, this satellite was supposed to land with soft landing. But again, there were few uh, technical defects there in Chandrayaan 2 also. In September 2019, the total India 1.3 billion people were actually watching their screens and monitors to see the soft landing of this Vikram lander. Just above 400 miles above this moon, the, 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 the lander was supposed to just get landed. But then Vikram lander actually crashed. It did not undergo a very soft landing. Just 400 kilometers above the moon surface, what happened was we lost contacts. So the total Indian hearts actually froze, got frozen by seeing their monitors being just going crashing. And uh, the, uh, overcoming the, difficult, the, the difficulties in Chandrayaan 1 and 2 only, now we have Chandrayaan 3. Chandrayaan 2 also what happened was it was expected to reduce its velocity while it is going to approach the moon surface, lunar surface and do up a very soft landing. It, it was consisting of, it was comprising of 5 engines in which the velocity was supposed to get reduced. But because of the technical defects, what happened was that the engines actually gave a little higher thrust. Thrust means force per unit area which was like beyond our expectation and because of that there was a crash the legs of the lander and rover got crashed when it landed on the lunar surface as well the trajectory path also there were some glitches namely there was a software glitch when it was like inclined at an angle of around 400 you know degrees inclination which was expected to be only 55 degree inclination because of this more inclination in this trajectory path we had some software glitches and all this paved the way that Chandrayaan 2 was a failure I will not say a failure because even it was a failure it had a very harsh landing rough landing on the moon surface still we could get some pictures and images of the moon it was sending but then uh, past few months only we are not we have lost contacts with Chandrayaan 2 also so the total uh, the total kind of difficulties which were faced by Chandrayaan 1 and 2 are overcome in Chandrayaan 3 and I hope 
ISRO will be like celebrating its success after this successful launch of Chandrayaan 3 by LM. The, the name of the rocket that is taking is nothing but LVM 3. Okay, this rocket is going to take this. Uh, this is also around the launch mass of this entire thing is also around 3900 kilograms and the whole India is expecting this event to be very successful. If it is like we are making this event, we are making this accomplished very successfully, then we are the fourth nation. US, United uh, Soviet and China are the successful countries who have sent their satellites and la launched onto the moon. And India will be the fourth country to send the satellite to the lunar surface. And this will be very successful if this Chandrayaan 3 is going to give us the entire hopes and expectations. I hope all Indians will be like watching this event where, where with, with sheer curiosity and anxiety. And of course, we wish ISRO a very all the best for the successful accomplishment of Chandrayaan 3 in near future. Thank you. Thank you all for watching this video. Kindly subscribe, give your likes and comments.